now has to worry about security or having themselves named on a different news network or on the internet. I mean, you know, the, the speaker has put together the quote unquote weaponization of government committee. If, if it was true to its name, it would be investigating his own comments at this moment. Of course, that's not going to be the case. I do wonder what you think about uh, warnings, essentially, from one Republican and one Democrat over this. Peter Meyer, a uh, former congressman, um, said this, quote, this indictment is a billion-dollar gift in kind from Democrats to Trump's, uh, to Trump's 24 campaign, assuming there is an indictment. We don't know yet. But then I thought this comment from Democratic Senator Mark Kelly to Jake yesterday morning was really interesting. Let's listen. You know, I would hope that if they brought charges that they have a, a, a strong case um, because this is, as you said, it's unprecedented. And, you know, there's certainly, you know, risks involved here. Um, but again, nobody in our nation is or should be above the law. Right. No one is or should be above the law. The law is the law, right? And will they indict? We'll see. But just politically, I think they're both pointing to real risks for Democrats and how this could be a political boon to the former president. I wonder what you think. Well, I certainly agree. I actually think, and I've said from the beginning, I think this is going to secure Donald Trump's stature within kind of the base GOP voter, which is, which to me is actually really sad because these are people that profess Christ as their savior that are now going to go out and defend a man that, you know, potentially or is accused of paying off, uh, you know, a uh, porn star, it's, you know, to protect information about him. And then he lied to people about it. But I do think it's a huge risk. I think if any, you know, if there was a preference, probably if there was, you know, it would be like the federal case would come first or Georgia would come first. But that's not how that's not how the law works. The law works when you culminate an investigation and you get an indictment through a grand jury. We don't know what that indictment's going to read. I would caution my Republican friends to, you know, wait until you see this indictment um, if it in fact it comes. But, uh, yeah, there's a huge political risk, no doubt. This is so unprecedented that mm -hmm. uh, this is all uncharted territory.